Hello, in this video we are going to use MASH to create our grass bed that we have here. Um, in the last video we made these pieces of grass that we're going to use. So, um, the first thing is make sure we have everything selected and make sure that you have froze your transforms and deleted your history um, and then probably save up so if anything goes wrong we can go back and now I am going to go up to mash so up here so mash is a cool animation tool and can be used for modeling also um, and we'll go over here and go to create so this thing here click that to the mash editor and then go over to create and say create mash network and you make sure that all your geometry is, was selected and you should see this new node here and you should see this kind of stuff so I'm going to double select that and put grass at the end and in case we have multiple of these mesh networks um, we can click on this distribute and you can see if I add this that it basically duplicates this or how many I have here um, and you can do really neat stuff with this. Um, you can do dynamic stuff where things are simulated with a bunch of pieces and um, that's a whole kind of extra stuff more than what this video is. So um, if you're interested, I, I would highly encourage that for you to look that up. Um, we might do something in the future, but probably not for this class. Um, so I'm going to set this to zero points because I don't want to distribute it that way. I'm going to go over here and to this top node and you'll see on the right side all these different settings should come up um, or you can click on this and it pretty much brings all the same stuff. Um, I'm going to select placer and this will give me the option to paint my geometry. So um, I'll have this and I'm going to select my ground and I'm going to just name this like dirt underscore geo and then I'm going to go back to my placer and this is the mesh that it's going to paint on. By default it will paint on everything but I kind of want to limit it to just the dirt. So have this have this selected and you middle mouse and drag it in here and now you should see dirt underscore geo shape so now if I go up here and go to add I should be able to add geometry so that added it only adds one piece in only one direction and I can always undo um, there's always delete here too um, I'm going to undo it for now and I'm going to go down here change this ID mode to random because I want to see more than just what I have here and random ID so each one of these are grasses that we made will have an ID of 0, 1, 2, 3, etc and it starts at 0 so we want to go to 0, 2, 2 so you should see all your grasses there. So now if I draw in here, it should cycle between all three of those and you start getting some randomization. But I'm gonna undo that still. We can still add some more variation doing this. So I'm gonna set this to scatter and bring up the density and you'll see if I click on this, it's starting to add it, but it's too wide. Oops, I need to reset this. It's too scatter, brush spacing, bring that down, um, brush space radius. And it's, it's, um, I need to bring that down a bit. So the size is a little much. Um, and set that to one. 
there we go and I can change the lean amount to like 20 so this is how much it will kind of bend over oops or 0.2 sorry um, and random scale I can set this to like 0.5 to 1 so met um, it will be half the scale so I can start adding grass this way and then um, ran random rotation um, I'm going to delete some of this stuff though for now a bit okay and I am going to have the scatter density so that's a mount that gets sprayed on and I'm going to change the rotation let's see what 360 does that go is going in the right direction and it's only going the outside so it's a little bit annoying I think my brush is too big. Brush radius to one. Still too big. So it's gonna add grass this way. There we go. And it's starting to fill out. Turn off scatter and to start. And you can do things like nudge things, like move things around if you want. It's, I don't know. It's kind of a little bit the collide whoa um, but usually I don't really deal with that usually I will delete things and then just add a new point in there if I need it um, it's not the easiest to work with but now I have my grass so that's pretty cool let's say you are not super happy or like you wish there was a little more variation in here you can add another node so you could add a random node and it kind of explodes everything. So go to that node and you'll want to set the position to zero on all of these because we want to change the randomness of the rotation and the scale. And you can even say it uniform. So you could do like that. If you want everything to be generally smaller, you'd have to select all your grass, your original pieces of grass, and they're hidden by default, but you can unhunt them and scale them down, and that should scale down everything also. So if you want that, you can also set that up like that, but I kind of liked what I had. So, um, I might, and you can turn these off by on and off. And there we are. Um, all right, we'll see you in the next video.